Hi everyone, welcome to Pearl's Kitchen. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up, press the red button to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified for my upcoming videos. It's absolutely free. Thank you very much. The greatest glory in living is not that we won't fall, but we can rise every time we fall. Amen. Today I'm going to show you how to make jalebis. These are one of India's most popular sweets and it's my daughter's favorite sweets. And here are the ingredients. Okay, I'm going to show you the ingredients in two sections. This, these ingredients are for the batter for the jalebi. So in this bowl I've got one cup of plain flour that's around 150 grams and here I've got three tablespoons of corn flour and I've got one quarter teaspoon of baking powder one third of a teaspoon of soda bicarb and I've got 150 ml of water in there we'll also need two teaspoons of ghee melted ghee I'll melt it a bit later and in here I've got three tablespoons of yogurt and we'll need either yellow color or orange color. We'll need few shreds of saffron and we'll need either pistachio or cashew nuts for garnishing and we'll need a piping bag. Okay and the next set of ingredients is for the syrup and that in here in the saucepan I've got one and a half cups of sugar and I've got four green cardamoms that I've only the seeds and I've crushed it with the rolling pin and I've got two teaspoons of lemon juice lime juice sorry you could use lemon juice have you I'm using lime juice we'll also need few shreds of saffron and we'll need one mug of water in there now you can see this is a special mug and that belongs to my daughter and she gave me this for Christmas and she runs a gym in the Manchester area so if you're living in Manchester or around the area please do go and visit my daughter and her partner's gym and they're Amy and Ryan and they give one-to-one -one training and uh, where if you go there you'll be welcomed by one of the most friendliest dog ever and that's our dear maple she is so so sweet and that's promotion done for amy ryan and maple okay we'll also need oil for deep frying so that's already i've put it on simmer so it's getting hot now and now we can start first thing we're going to do is make the syrup so put the gas on and you add everything into this into the water into the sugar you add the water you add the lemon juice lime juice and the crushed green cardamom and few shreds of saffron and now you need for this water to come to a boil and let all the sugar melt in there so as soon as the water starts coming to a boil then you put it on simmer and then let it simmer away for three to four minutes and then turn the gas off okay the syrup is done now it's had it's like three and a half minutes i'm going to turn the gas off and now you keep this aside and now we can get on with making our batter okay now for the batter we'll need a sieve and a bowl and now you take this the flour and the corn flour and the baking powder and the soda by cup put it all in there and we need to sieve it through okay now that the flour and everything is sifted through we're going to add a few more shreds of saffron and we're going to add the yogurt and then we're going to add around two teaspoons of ghee and then you're going to start mixing it with little water at a time and we need to make this into a batter like a pancake batter so start putting a little bit of water don't put it all together
Okay, whisk it. Put more water if you need. Bit more. And now at this stage you can put add the color. I'm putting yellow color. It's a tiny bit more. Put a little bit more water. And that's it now you just keep this aside for 10 to 15 minutes okay my batter was too yellow so I just added a pinch of red color in it as well so it's a lovely color now and now you need to do is take a piping bag and if you don't have a piping bag just any ordinary polythen bag will do just make a small cut in the end of the bag like 5 mm like a hole in it and now you start putting this batter into this piping bag. Okay, as soon as you fill the batter into the piping bag, make sure it's tied at the top and keep your finger here because it starts pouring out. And you can see I've changed the karai into a frying pan because that was too deep. And now we're going to make some jalebis. So you're going to start making in circles, start from the middle. And keep going round and round and then taper it off in the middle okay make sure your oil is hot and then you keep going and then One more and that's it. We'll do the first batch. Now we need to fry this. It doesn't take long. This needs two to three minutes each side. Okay, it's had two minutes this side. Now I'm going to just flip them over and then fry them for two minutes the other side. Okay, it's had its two minutes. Now make sure your syrup is nice and warm. So it goes straight into the syrup. So we'll do two at a time, okay? You dunk it in there and turn it over. Turn it over. Put two more in there. So while that's soaking it up and then turn it over. This needs around 30 to 40 seconds in there and then you just take out the jalebi okay and then you put it here and then you do the rest with this again straight into the syrup turn Turn, leave it for a few seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, and that's your jalebis ready. I'll carry on making the rest and we'll see you at the end of the Okay, quite a lot of jalebis have come out. I'm doing my last batch now. Running out of batter now. Okay, 
one more will come up. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Turn them around. That's our lovely jalebis ready. They really look delicious and really taste delicious. My daughter will love them. Now you can either eat these on its own or you can eat, dip it in yogurt and eat. My daughter eats it on its own. And just before you serve it, you just garnish it with either cashew nuts or pistachio. So just a few bits of nuts, any nuts you can use actually. And there you go. So that's our lovely delicious jalebis. Now these, if you make, if you're a parent of little toddlers, your children would love watching you make this and they love eating it like my children did. So I hope you like it. Don't forget to share my link and to write on the comments what you think about it. And I shall see you next time with some more delicious cooking. But until then, may God go with you and give you his peace.